Hi guys, I am back to do the review for the Cartoon 3, Queen of Pirates. Now there are 15 songs on this CD, so I'm going to do it just in one video instead of breaking it up um, a couple of songs, um, like I had to do with the Cartoon Cartoon, uh, because there were 20 different songs. Um, so number one is Taboo. So, Taboo seems to be like a, um, a love story, like all of their songs, but a love story of, um, getting to know someone, uh, their taboo, I guess, um, like their secret and stuff, and even then still loving them, um, so it's actually a really good song, um, I know they open up the Queen of Pirates concert with Taboo. So it's a it's a good song, it has a good beat, um, and each member has their own little portion. There's no rap, but um, you get to hear each member sing. So it's a very good song, uh, good to open, out, open up a CD with. Okay, and next is Keep the Faith. Keep the Faith... Um, as the name suggests, is pretty much a song about keeping your faith. Um, it's written as if to someone. However, I like it because it can also be taken as, um, uh, like, to a fan, like, from the band. Or, um, basically, it doesn't have to be in a relationship. Um, it could be, like, between friends, between band and fans or in a relationship. So I actually really do like the song. Uh, Koki has a little rap in the bit. In the middle, there's some beatboxing by Nakamaru. And this CD is uh, with Jin. There's like six, all six of them. Um, so, like, Jin has a part, every, everybody has a part singing, uh, but Koki has a rap, and Nakamaru has a beatbox. So it's a good song. It's uh, an upbeat good song to dance to, um, so I do really like it, um, so first song is kind of high pace, second song is still high pace, and next song is Affection. So Affection is kind of not really self-explanatory, um, it's a slower song, but it's, um, not slow like, um, Bokurom no Machide or anything, it's, it's still upbeat, but it's still, but it's a little bit slow. Um, but it's all about asking someone to show their affection that they had shown the day before. Um, calling them up and saying, I know we're just friends, but, you know, can you just show me what you just showed yesterday? I need that. Or something like that. It's actually a pretty good song. Uh, Jin kind of shows off his English skills a little bit within the song. <laughs> Um, each member gets their own little bit. They also, I guess, called in a few, uh, female singers and had them sing back up, which was, that was actually nice. It, um, um, I don't know what the word I'm looking for, but it was a uh, contrast. It was a nice contrast to Kitun's, um, voices and their voices. So it was actually really nice. Um, I did like it. Uh, next song on the Queen of Pirates CD is Hell No. So, so Hell No is an interesting song um, because it's kind of talking about how um, like fighting for love but it also being harder. It's kind of hard, hard to decipher, um, you know, some, as a, you know, some of their songs are. Uh, Koki does have a rap. It's actually in all English, which is interesting to read his, um, his rap that he wrote in English. <laughs> um, so you kind of, since it was written back then, his English wasn't as good as it is now, and it's harder to, um, decipher what he means, um, 
So it's actually an, an interesting, you know, contrast. Um, it goes back up to a higher pace song with um, Hell No. Um, so, so far, through the four songs, it is a higher paced uh, CD uh, as in contrast to um, Cartoon Cartoon. So, uh, fifth song is Distance. Distance is actually a short song, just over um, one, uh, three minutes long. Um, so it's actually shorter than all of the other songs so far. Um, it seems like a higher paced song, but it's actually really sad. It's kind of about a, a breakup. Um, so, so far all of them are kind of like about relationships, but I have noticed that trend within Katoon. All of them or at least even within the Asian music scene, most songs are about relationships being it breaking up or getting together or it being a second confession to someone. Um, but distance is about meeting someone and just breaking up with them for the sake of both of you. Um, it's a good song. There's no rap or anything, but each member gets their own bit. Um, it is a very good song. Now, the next song I know is a slower song, but it is my favorite off of this entire album, and it is Mother Father. I honestly love the song Mother Father. It's really about, um, it's to their parents, um, or even, like, anybody to their parent, just saying, you know, you've really raised me, and basically it's a thank you, um, and just how they really feel about their parents, and I love the song, it's, it's slow, it's, you get to hear each person, Kolke has a rap, but it's harder to hear, uh, because everybody else is singing over him, but actually, his part is my favorite in the entire song, um, but it's a, it's a good song, it really is, it really, I think that's one of, I think that is my favorite song, out of just, every single song that they have. Um, and I know them doing it on the Queen of Pirates DVD is my favorite performance ever. 100%. But you'll hear that in the review of the Queen of Pirates DVD. Um, the next song on uh, Queen of Pirates is number seven, which is Lips. I guess you could say Lips is kind of a song that um, it's actually really about a woman's lips. Kind of. But, like, missing, I guess, that um, physical contact, but kissing. Um, but it's a, it's a good song. It's, if you've heard it, well, duh. Um, it's kind of a higher pace song, which is good, like, right after Mother Father, because Mother Father is a slow song. Lips is a faster paced song. Um... So it's it's really good. So far, pretty much you have a few fast-paced songs, and slower paced, then more fast-paced, slow-paced. So it's actually a good paced CD um, so far, instead of all, just being all, like, really slow. Um, but Lips is really good. Kalki gets a little rap, but pretty much other than that, like, it's just all of them singing, which is really nice. So, next song is actually uh, Yorokobi no Uta, or the Song of Joy. So, Yorokobi no Uta is actually a really nice song. Um, it's actually the OST for Tokyo uh, Tanaka Sango. I think that's what it's called. Uh, Koki's 2007. Or, yeah, 2007. Um, uh, drama. What are you doing? Anyway, um, his 2007 drama, which has uh, Tokyo Tanaka Sanko, I believe. Um, it's about going after the one that you love, that they bring you joy, whatnot, um, and that you love them, and that's all that you know of them, I guess. Um, it's a good song. It's high-paced. I love dancing to it. I actually really like um, running to it 
because it has a nice beat and uh, certain points I just do a dead sprint um, such as uh, Colkey's Wrap. Um, what I did notice about Colkey's Wrap is that um, he has, uh, I noticed a few of um, the other song titles such as Real Face, Bokuro no Machite, and uh, Signal, uh, like which all came to mind as um, cartoon songs. So that was actually kind of cool. Um, but to me, like, this is like Koki song because it was on his um, drama as the original soundtrack. So it was really good. I enjoyed the song. Uh, the next song on this one, which is number nine, is Un. Un is... Um, it's an interesting song. I don't particularly care for it, but it's not one that I'd skip every time that it comes on, kind of like Heartbreak Club. Um, it's it's kind of it's kind of again in the relationship sense. I mean, to me, there really wasn't much um, semblance in it. It's a good song, you know. You can kind of sing to it, but it's not my favorite song. Um, so, but it's a slower song, uh, than Yorokubi no Uta, or the Song of Joy. Um, so, it's, the CD is still following the, you know, few fast songs, then a slow song, fast song, slow song, um, thing. Uh, next is Our Story, the prologue. Our story is, um, it seems like, and this is actually, like, it's actually written as our story, prologue, um, it, again, is kind of one about a relationship, but it's actually about a parting of ways, rather than, um, a, uh, meeting or whatnot. It's, instead of breaking up and everything, it's kind of just, you know, that was our story, and now to each go on our own way into a new chapter and to continue our story, as in your own story. Um, very pretty. It is, it's faster than, is it faster than Un? I think it's faster than Un. Um, but it's not slow, it's not fast as in Yorokobi no Uta. So it's, it's kind of one of those middle grounds. Um, I think the CD is kind of slowing down just a little bit. Um, but anyway, the next song is Nanantatan uh, Mo. I think that's how it's said. Nanantatan Mo. Nanantatan um, Mo kind of goes with our story. Um, except I, this, to me, it seems like it's, um, you know, they'll always remember being with like that moment um no matter if they're with the person or without the person but to me I'm taking it as they're still going to be in the relationship but they're taking it they're gonna stay with that moment um and it's kind of a moment where like they just spent like the night at a train station I think um it's a good song I do like it Koki has his own little rap in it which I always enjoy his raps, as you can probably tell. Um, so it's a good song, um, not high energy, but not slow. Uh, next song is Shot. Um, Shot kind of seems to me like a um, mm, uplifting song, kind of like don't be afraid to go out there and do what you want. Um, it's a good song, however, it starts out with a uh, brass section, which I detest. I don't know why. I always have. Um, which makes me more likely to skip this song, even though if later in the song it does not come back. It just opens up with a big brass section that I really, really do not like. But I guess that's because I was an orchestra, right? So, um, Shot is a good song, you know, kind of, like, go out there, do 
what you want, I guess. Um, yeah, each, each of the members gets their own little part, I think. Yeah, they each get their own little part. Um, so, yeah. Uh, next is 12 o'clock. Okay, 12 o'clock, um, I really like it because the beginning is, uh, is Jin going through, like, 1 to 12 o'clock, um, which is actually really good because he does it all in English, and his English is actually pretty well, pretty well. Apparently mine isn't. His English is pretty good, um, so you can actually understand what he says, and he, as in pure Jin fashion curses a few times in it. Um, it's kind of funny to see his, um, like, how his style has stayed the same throughout the years. Um, whenever he puts, in, in his English songs at least, he always curses. I don't know why, if he just thinks it's cool or whatnot, but either way. Um, and then the, the rest of the song of 12 o'clock at least is, um, kind of, of, like, meeting someone in a club, um, and just being, like, in, entranced by them. Um, it's a good song, it's, I actually have a fun time dancing to it, so it's good, it's upbeat. Now, there's only two more songs on, um, this CD, and unfortunately I did not look up what number 14 is, it's only listed in Japanese on here, so number 14 is next. Okay, the uh, 14th song is actually called I Know Command or Love's Command, um, and it's about physical affection. If you don't know what that means, then you're probably not really old enough to read the lyrics. But it's a good song. The lyrics, I've actually never read the lyrics before, so I actually didn't know what it was about. Or if I had read it, like, back in 2009, because this CD came out in 2008, I discovered Katoon in 2009. If I read the lyrics back then, I made a point to not read the lyrics up until now. Uh, good song. I actually really do enjoy the song, and I love their performance of it um, when they do it live. But it's quite interesting, because um, I'm used to, at least back then, Katoon being the sweet and innocent group, so to read those kind of lyrics coming from Katoon, it's kind of weird. Um, good song, it's higher paced. Um, the last song is Six Senses. Um, so it did follow the uh, high paced, slow song, high paced, slow song, like, you know, which made for a good um, CD because you're not, you know, being you know, two high of songs, and then the end is just slow. It's, you know, you have 15 songs, and it keeps up the pace, which is really nice. Okay, last song is Six Senses, and I'm going to wrap up this video. Six Senses uh, kind of seems like it's at a club, but really I view this song as just a fun concert song that it really doesn't mean anything. It's kind of nonsense lyrics and whatnot. I do love the song. It has a nice, uh, able to be used as like an audi what? An audience participation song, which they do in the Queen of Pirates concert. Um, overall, this CD is a really good CD. It's not my favorite by Katoon, but I think it's my, it's my second favorite. Yes, because No More Pain is my favorite. Um, it is... A really good CD, has good flow from the beginning to end, um, and I really like that it has 15 songs rather than just, like, six. Or, like most of Katoon CDs, three. So, it's a good CD, good rhythm, good flow, everything. Overall, I really like it. So, that was my review of Katoon 3, Queen of Pirates, and next week should be the Queen of Pirates DVD. Thank you very much.